Hello, it's Ron back here from Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We talk a lot about a lot about drones, drone gear, drone tech, drone updates, and uh, today is a drone video here. And I have a uh, an old friend here, the DJI uh, Air 2S. Uh, drone's over two years old now, and uh, it's you know been a great success. It you know featured a one in sensor, five five K video. Um, you know, a lot of uh, uh, OcuSync 3, which is new at the time. So, you know, it was a, a great success in its day here. It came in at a reasonable price cost compared to the Mavic series of drones from DJI and even the, you know, the Altel Evo 2 Pro, which came out uh, around the same time as this drone did, the Evo 2 Pro V1, since there's so many of them nowadays. But, um, yeah, well, but what I'm here for is, you know, there's, of course, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, chatter today, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, headlines over the new Air 3, yep, the Air 2S, the poor old guy's been replaced by the uh, Air 3 in the series with a whole bunch of new features and so on that, we'll, you know, we'll go over an Air 3 video at a later date here, but... Um, one of the big discussions uh, when the Air 3 came out was that uh, the camera, you know, the, the again, uh, as I just mentioned, the first, the Air 2S, it featured a one-inch sensor camera, able to do five-point-something K video. We'll just say 5K video. Well, why these people have to put the points and just round off. 5K video. And, um, you know, it was an incredible camera, especially for its day. Uh, but but then the, you know we expected that the Trump that camera with it, you know, with the new Air Three series, but it came out with that same one you know backslash one point three uh, sensor, which is smaller than one sensor, uh, uh, you know. So it's a smaller sensor this drone. Uh, so that kind of you know people couple people shook their heads. But then DJI came back well with um, well they didn't come back with it. They don't I don't think they say this in their advertising whatsoever. But it was sourced out that it, it is a um, a stack sensor and uh, backlit backlit back backlit inlated sorry i can't say all that and that you know with all those new technologies thrown in there that actually it was actually better than the ones five five point uh, uh k uh camera sensor on the air 2s and i i, I also forgot to mention the air 3 only was capable of 4k video uh now i think it did have higher frame rates at the 4k uh than the older um Air 2S did so. Anyhow, all with all that, that talk and that nonsense there. Um, I want to do. I don't have the Air Air 3 at this moment, but I wanted to go out and review just how good the video coming out of the Air 2S was. So here's here's my testing. I went down to you know one of my usual spots in the beach here in beautiful Margate City. I'm, I'm in the great outdoors here. It looks like I'm in the forest here, but just my backyard here in. in Margate City down here at the beach, but so we uh, we took the Air 2S out. Okay, we we put it in in 5K video. Um, we put it in D log M, which is the same D log that the Air 3 has. Um, it's kind of not the full D log, but it's a little bit easier to work with in in post. So we put it in D log M. Uh, we we you know 24 frame 5K 24 frames per second. We put it. Uh, we locked the um, white balance in at 5600. Um, and we, you know, we also, you know, locked the exposure, um, uh, a couple different times because he flew different, different directions. And, um, we used a, uh, a free well, um, ND, it was either ND32 or 64. So I did not set the, um, you know, the, uh, the frame rates, uh, manually on it. So, um, you know, I, I hope, hopefully the ND filter that I put on kept the frame rates at a respectable speed, but I, I did not go in and set to, you know, uh, uh, in this case, it'd be uh, 48 or 50 frames per second to double the, uh, you know, the, 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 the 24 uh, that, that I put in there on the, uh, I always get that, I always talk about, I always get these things backwards, but I, yeah, I, I set it at 5K 24 frames per second, so I set my shutter at, at, at I didn't set my shutter, I, I, I didn't set double, I didn't do all that, I, I just let automatic take over, I just hope I chose the right, um, you know, uh, 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 now I'm getting myself all confused here, um, filter you know nd filter and again i didn't have a lot of motion in it wasn't a lot of motion in this video the motion blur wasn't wasn't my uh concern here i just didn't want to you know a super hyper fast uh frame rate on here so uh anyhow so then i you know then when that was done i took it into final cut pro and i used the correction lut the uh 
for, for D log M from DJ, the official correction line. I put that in there. And then I, uh, you know, then I uh, lightly added it with a, 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 another LUT that I'll put down below. I forget which one, what it, it was now. So, you know, this video, you know, was, um, you know, added to my port. But of course, if you're using D log M, the whole point of using D log M is to, um, you know, uh, uh, do it at it, right? And um, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to get the max, the full capabilities of this camera out, you know, with, with again, the 5K video, D log M. I, I just didn't want to shoot in, in, in everything in auto because that doesn't really always show how good a, uh, a camera on a particular drone like this is. I wanted to, you know, max out the full capabilities of this camera, you know, with, with a D log M you know, uh, and, and editing to, to get it uh, looking as good as I possibly can. So anyhow, I'm going to roll this video now and then we'll come back a little bit later. Roll that video. Okay, in this portion of the video, um, uh, you know, I have one clip here where I'm at the uh, you know maximum uh, uh, you know focal range, but uh, in this in the second part of the clip here, what I've did is I've I've zoomed in in uh, in post the Final Cut Pro. You know, I kind of cropped in on the 5K video, and and I so I could still you know, but it still gave me enough room to. Um, you know, uh, set it out as 4K video here. So um, we're gonna go right back to the uh, the clip again. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, that little, uh, you know, little two-minute clip of a 5K uh, video from the uh, one-inch sensor Air 2S, and uh, you know, and I and I put a little thing in there where I kind of cropped it on the 5K. One of the reasons in the shoot 5K is if you even if you're still going to like. Um, you post it on YouTube or your social media for 4K is you have that ability to kind of crop it a little bit. So it, it's almost like having a, you know, a zoom lens, but you zoom in on post on, on your own and you have enough information, you know, with that 5K video that you don't lose a whole lot cropping in a bit. Now, you know, again, if you if you took it and you cropped it down to like a tiny little spot, yeah, maybe you cropped it in too far and, and, and the video's not going to look that good. But say you just, you know, do a minor crop in like... Um, 
you know, I don't even want to throw a number out there. You, you, you crop in by a third of whatever, um, that, you know, your, your video is still going to look uh, very good. But anyhow, um, let me know what you think uh, about the quality of that video down, down below. Um, you know, is it, uh, is it going to be able to, you know, compare it to that new Air 3? Is it going to be better than that new Air 3 or not as good? You know, uh, uh, give me your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. Let me know whether, you, you know, uh, you're going to upgrade to the Air 3. You're going to keep your Air 2S around. Uh, you know, uh, I know this is kind of an ongoing uh, concern. And, you know, just, the, you know, my opinion, you know, it looks like the Air 2S is a superior drone in uh, every way if you're not counting the camera. If you take the camera out of the equation, the Air 3, you know, got waypoints, uh, uh, you know, long bat longer battery life, um, you know, I mean, just, just, you know, uh, new advancements. It's almost like has everything the Mavic 3 has in it. But, you know, but it, the camera quality, it, can the camera quality match the Air 2S, uh, you know, with that uh, stack sensor and all that? That That's that's the big debate, really, in the community. And does it really, and is it really important to you that the camera quality is, uh, does, it, does it have to be as good as the Air 2S? What if it's slightly not as good as the Air 2S? Is that still good enough for most? You know, uh, leave that down in the comments. So, uh, and, you know, if you, if you want to see me actually like show you how I like you know edit this video or whatever or put all this together like cropped in and whatever I, I I say all this stuff but a lot of people say well I don't know how to do that or I've never done it. if you want to want to see more from this video you know how, how I did some of the things I I did here uh, uh, you know let me know that in the comments too maybe we'll we'll come back with a uh, kind of a part two of this video so yeah I am I'm holding this I'm, I got the DJI wireless mic here I'm kind of holding it like this I didn't really you know. I don't really have a shirt collar. I didn't, I didn't get my magnet out or whatever, so I'm just kind of holding it like it's a mini-me mic here or whatever. But this is a, it's a good old DJI wireless mic. And, I think, you know, it comes with, like, it has a clip on here, but, you know, I didn't, you know, uh, like I, I said, the hot summer day, a tank top on. It doesn't really clip on well on the tank top, so I'm holding it like a mini mic. So if you're wondering, what is that guy holding the video? It's a DJI wireless mic here. So, okay, that's it, folks. Uh... Uh, if you if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so it gets out to more of the you know YouTube community, not just my subscribers. If mention speak a subscriber, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Membership is free this month. Uh, if you want to see more videos on the the Air series of drone, the Air 2S, the Air 3, ring that bell, you know, so you'll get notifications. I put more videos out on the Air series of drones. And uh, I'll put a buy me a uh, you know a coffee link down below if you want to support the channel here. You know it's uh, hot this time of year. I could use a nice iced coffee to um, you know get me through some of these drone videos. So uh, please uh, you know consider and, and just joking folks. Any anything you contribute to the channel, I'll, I'll put it towards buying new new drones, new drone gear, and whatever to to for future reviews. Okay, we will see you in the next one.